back third grade. Today we're going to start writing our TDA. You can either finish today or take a break and finish up tomorrow. They are due by Friday. You need to make sure that you have your chart completed before you start writing. I am going to model a lot of the writing for you and then there's going to be spots that I highlight that you will need to fill in with what you wrote in your chart. I have my chart pulled up here. Um, yesterday we did evidence one and two and inference one and two together and you needed to fill out the last one. <clears throat> I chose to complete my chart with the spider's web that inspired inventors to create a certain type of cloth. Today on your Google Classroom, you have a essay slide uploaded. Um, it's pretty much blank because we need to write a three paragraph essay. Up at the top of the slide, there is the prompt again, just to remind you. And then there's a lot of space for you to type. And slide two is also blank for you to type if you need. Um, <clears throat> let's reread the prompt just to refresh it in our brains. It says, in the article, Big Ideas from Nature, the central idea is getting inspiration for inventors by studying animals and nature. Write a short essay analyzing how the author used text features to support the central idea. Use evidence from the informational text to support your answer. And then I added type your answer below. <clears throat> our goal is to have a three paragraph essay. The first paragraph should, have, should be our intro. Second paragraph is our body paragraph, which will basically just be copying and pasting our chart. And then the third paragraph is a conclusion. Please remember to use the tab key to indent your paragraph when you start typing. The first sentence of your intro should always be the title of the story. And it should um, kind of restate that first sentence of the prompt. The author of big ideas from nature explains the central idea of getting inspiration my computer's freezing up on me there we go for inventions by studying nature and animals. Our second sentence should be a little one sentence summary. The author explains how different animals and nature inspire people to create new inventions. And our last sentence should include what our evidence is. So today our evidence was just photographs and captions. The author uses text features such as photographs and captions to show and explain the central idea. There's our introduction. If you need to pause this video to catch up with typing, please feel free to do so and then come back for our body paragraphs. When we start typing our body paragraph, we need to hit the enter button to start on a new fresh line and then tab again to get my indent for the second paragraph. I want to use transitional words, which are words like first, second, last, finally. So obviously this first evidence, I'm going to use first as my transition. 
I'm going to go back to my TDA chart and I'm going to highlight everything in Evidence 1, Edit, Copy, and then I'm going to paste it. Edit, Paste. I need to change this from a capital to a lowercase. And I'm going to worry about the font and font size once I'm done copying and pasting. So I have my first piece of evidence. I'm going to go back to my chart, get my first inference, copy, and paste. Now I'm ready for my second piece of evidence and inference, so I need to use a transitional word again. Up here I used first, now I'm going to use second. Go back to my chart, copy my second piece of evidence, paste it, Copy my second inference. And paste. Oh, I didn't pick up my inference. There we go. I need to go back and fix this capital A to a lowercase a. And I'm going to match my font and size to see if I need to go to the next page for the third and final piece of evidence and inference. So it looks like the font size up here is 18. You can make it whatever you want. I'm just going to match it to the top. Right now it's at 12. So I'm going to make it 18. I'm going to head to the second slide to continue my paragraph, just so it's not all sloppy and pushed onto this slide. Since I'm still in the same paragraph, I'm not indenting yet. And I'm going to start with a sentence starter. So again, I used first then I used second, now I'm going to use finally. Go back to my chart. I'm going to copy my third piece of evidence. Now this is where ours are going to be different because you did this on your own. I'm going to paste, fix my capital letter, Copy my third inference. Again, yours is going to be different because you wrote yours on your own. And paste. I'm going to fix the font again to match. And I am going to highlight mine because yours is going to be different than mine here. Yours should be your own words from your chart from yesterday or Tuesday. Now I'm ready for my third and final paragraph. So I need to hit enter tab. This is going to be my conclusion. An easy way to start the conclusion is by stating in conclusion. Taking my highlight off.
and my first sentence should um, restate the prompt again, kind of like the first sentence in your introduction. The author of Big Ideas from Nature show that inventors shows that inventors and scientists get inspiration from studying nature and animals. Now I want to um, include my text features again. The author used text features to help prove the central idea. My very last sentence is going to be the central idea of the story. The central idea was getting inspiration for inventions I'm taking this right from the prompt by studying animals and nature. <clears throat> when you're done with that, you are done with your TDA essay. I know it might take you some time to go back and forth, copying and pasting, and um, just typing everything. So take your time. When you're done, make sure you turn it in on Google Classroom. And please remember where I have it highlighted, yours should be different. It should be your own words. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, third grade.